What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video we will learn about the mooring lines, the purpose of the mooring lines and the naming of the mooring lines and how does this mooring line when we make fast how does they work to keep the ship alongside. So starting from the basics the mooring lines are basically for making the ship fast on the to the port or to the jetty so i will show you each of the mooring lines and i will explain you the purpose of each of the mooring lines so for the senior officers if the chief officer or the senior officers are watching this video they will feel this video as a just a boring but this video is basically for the cadets because the cadets need to learn need to understand how does this mooring lines you know were play a special role in keeping the ship alongside because after the cadets the they start coming on the ship with uh, becoming third officer and they have to have proper knowledge of this mooring lines so let's see so guys here you can see my ship is made fast so these two winches and this two winches as you can see here now this two this winch has two lines which are going up to that dolphin that is called as a dolphin and this two winch has two wire ropes they are also going like this and then again they are going to that dolphin okay so now here this four total four mooring ropes they are called as stern lines these are stern lines of a ship and the purpose of this stern line is basically to prevent the ship's forward movement now it's a common sense let's say if i am holding a uh, object with the rope and i'm holding it on that dolphin so basically it will just pull the ship and it will prevent the ship from going forward similarly you can see here now this is the these two winches are called as breast for the breast lines these lines are called as a breast lines and these winches are used for making fast the breast lines now you can see here that these lines are going and it's made fast to that dolphin so this is everything is in the poop deck and you can see the angle now the stern lines were at angle of approximate 45 degree now let's say if this is the this is the line of the jetty so it is at a 45 degree to the angle to the line of the jetty but if you see this breast lines now this breast lines are basically they should be as perpendicular to the ship as perpendicular so you can see it's almost perpendicular now the purpose of this uh, breast lines is basically to keep the ship alongside otherwise the ship will come out from the uh, stern or from the forward if this breast ropes are loose so whenever you have a like bad weather in the port and let's say if your ship is coming out so the first rope which we attain is this breast ropes because this breast ropes helps in keeping the ship alongside so now we will go to the spring lines line which you can see should be as longitudinal as possible to the ship side so it will be effective as a spring lines So I have shown you the 
spring lines there's too much wind so i thought maybe the voice will not be clear so i have came in the sheltered area so you i hope you have seen the spring lines so spring lines are basically used to make fast the ship so this the spring lines is basically to prevent the ship from going stern so if we make fast or we tighten the uh, spring lines so it will pull the ship ahead or push the ship ahead so that is the purpose of the spring lines and so guys so that is the purpose of uh, the mooring lines the basic difference breast lines is easy to understand is easy to remember but the spring lines and the stern lines that is the thing which you have to remember the if our ship is coming behind let's say during the mooring or any time so to bring the ship ahead we have to pull the spring lines so if we pull the spring lines our ship will go ahead basically the spring lines is preventing the ship from going backwards same way for the stern lines the stern lines basically holds the ship and it prevents the ship to go forward so they basically play a vital role in keeping the ship alongside and preventing it from the surging surging means basically the forward and aft movement of the ship so i hope guys you have understood the basics of moorings same as of the poop deck you can understand for the forward area that is the forward springs forward breast lines and the head lines it has the same meaning as i have explained for the stern lines and whatever stern part of the ship so that is all about guys about the uh, you know mooring lines and as a third officer when we come you have to have a sound knowledge of what is happening exactly which rope you have to tight which rope you have to slack so that you can have a clear understanding when you make fast the ship so guys i hope you like this video please don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you guys